What's going on everybody? It's your boy Rick One Ball coming at you again with yet another classic. Now if you don't know what I'm doing, I'm making sure I cover each and every NBA game to provide you with up-to-date sports analysis as well as my opinion on these games. Now let's get into the game. The Minnesota Timberwolves versus the Charlotte Hornets. Now this game right here was a dandy. It had everything that you wanted to see. This game was close fairly fairly early on, but it had everything you wanted to see. The suspense, the the the, the thrill was there. You had LaMelo Ball going off. Now, shout out to the Charlotte Hornets coach for playing damn near LaMelo the whole game. You know that's what you need to do, don't you? You know that's what you do. He's your damn best player. <laughs> He's your best player. Play him the whole damn game. He's young. I don't understand how the Charlotte Hornets lost this game tonight. When you get, you got 28 points from Miles Bridges, 25 from Rozier, 22 from LaMelo Ball, 14 from Miles Plumley. That should be enough. You had scoring coming from all areas. And, and LaMelo Ball's three-point shot, that damn thing is starting to look pure, ain't it? He came back on consecutive plays and just left that damn hand up in the air. It looked pure. Pure. And uh, somehow, some way, with the lead in the fourth quarter, uh, uh, Charlotte Hornets had the lead in the fourth quarter. I believe it was 13, 12 or 13 points. And somehow, some way, lo lost this game about the Minnesota Timberwolves. Carl Anthony Towns, he's the reason why they lost tonight. He's the reason why the Hornets lost tonight. He had 39 points on the night. He made some big time shots. A deep three-pointer. He came back and followed it up with another three-pointer. I'm like, dude, you a center. He made some big three-point shots. It was some big shot making being done tonight. And uh, it was a very entertaining basketball game. Uh, Patrick Beverly, had, who was guarding somebody on the wing, I think it was Miles Bridges, it looked like Patrick Beverly was going to have him contained. He ended up going and pa passing up Patrick Beverly and getting to the free throw line because he got to the rim and got fouled. Patrick Beverly, you supposed to be a defensive player because uh, you you okay on offense. You supposed to stop that man and get that ball back. Um, yeah, this was a great game. I really liked it. I really enjoyed this game. Like I said, give Carl Anthony Towns his props. Vanderbilt had 10 points. Uh, D'Angelo Russell had 18 points. Uh, Patrick Beverly had 15 points. And uh, D'Angelo Russell was being uh, interviewed after the game, and he was basically commenting on Carl Anthony Towns saying, when he plays like that, we're very tough to beat. And yeah, if you're going to get 39 points from Carl Anthony T Towns on the efficient type of level like that, let's look at the st statistics on how, how, how the game looked. On, on actual statistics, the uh, Hornets shot 41% from the field. Uh, the, the Wolves shot 39% from the field. 24% from three for the Hornets, 23% from uh, three from uh, from the Wolves, 75% from the free throw line, 62% for the Wolves. It was fairly even. It was a fairly even game. You just had those big outbursts. Uh, by uh, like I said, Carl Anthony Towns had a big one. The highest man on the Hornets had 28 points. Carl Anthony Towns dropped 29 points. He's a low down low, and he's a low from three. He's showing. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my content. It's your boy Rick One Ball. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I've been smoking so much weed, I'm in my zone, bro. Don't hit my phone, bro.